Hey everyone, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude back with another Jurassic World toy review. Today we'll be taking a look at the new Irritator figure from the Soundstrike Primal Attack lineup. Now this figure is absolutely fantastic. Personally one of my favorites from this lineup as it really makes the dinosaur characteristic. It de it's very different from the other Spinosaurs we see in the lineup. Um, Baryonyx being a little bit more slim and slender and having a taller stance as this one has more of a hunchback and I love the attention to color. The contrast between the dark and the light on top makes it absolutely fantastic. Now this figure is smaller than the Sukamimus figure and definitely smaller than the Spinosaurus which I'll show you in a second. But it still holds up to that um, classic Spinosaur-like look to it. It's got um, a crest above the eyes, like most of them do. And its jaw is very long and slender, like an alligator's or crocodile's. Whoops, I'm gonna break the tail. And the hands curve inwards. This claw's a little bit larger than the rest, I think. Which, again, is another characteristic of Spinosaurs. And I love this kind of, like paddle-like um, ridge line. It very s well stands out. Um, they didn't paint it like the rest of the um, sail on the back, but that's fine. I'm not that picky. Um, you can see it continues down here kind of like the Majungasaurus figure has on the tail. Can't really see it, but the spikes on the bottom continue as well. And it's neat to see that detail as these animals do have a lot of amphibian DNA in them, like I said with the Protoceratops, how instead of having quills, they have a webbed-like appearance. Same with this dinosaur's tail. Um, the Irritator just has the sail going down and continuing, but this really adds to it being, like, characteristic. Kind of like how the Dilophosaurus has its frill, um, a lot of these dinosaurs have things that differentiate them from their modern-day counterparts, like the Albertosaurus having alligator skin. Uh, another really cool feature of this toy is the jaws very wide and covered in these teeth that jut out and when you close the mouth they interlock kind of like the Indominus Rex or the Indoraptor which is a very beautiful and fantastic look to the animal again giving it an even more characteristic crocodilian like appearance. It's got a very big nostril hole, um, some very nice crackly old looking detail on its face and you can pose the mouth in any position you want. The very back of the mouth is not painted on this figure, though the tongue is, and the tongue's got really nice detail compared to other figures which have a rather smooth tongue. So that's an interesting feature that they're starting to crack down on. You can see the shoulder blade here, the ribs, and it's just fantastic. I love how the Mattel team is putting out all the stops to make these figures have really beautiful and interesting details. Uh, the box just has the dinosaur with um, this kind of um, screen or monitor-like appearance to it, and it shows the bioluminescent para and the majungasaurus as well. So when I got this figure, um, I realized it didn't make noise, and that's because this little pull tab was still in it, because it was freshly in the shelf, so I removed it from the um, lower half. Now that's a really cool sound effect because I haven't heard that one in any other of the um, dinosaurs that make noise from Mattel. Um, a lot of the figures reuse sound effects and I'm sure there's one or two reused in this figure but that was very interesting. It kind of sounded like a Dilophosaurus or maybe Indominus breathing but they warped it enough so it sounds original which is nice. Definitely heard that one before. Just a little warped again so giving it some differences. And that's different as well. So we get some different sound effects of this dinosaur. And potentially, these sounds might have been taken from, say, Camp Cretaceous. Um, that's a little bit of a long shot, but hopefully, from what it sounds, these are different from most of the other Jurassic World sound effects, which is new. Usually they just reuse them. So let's cut this figure out of the box. Wow, it is so beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. And there we go. Can't wait to pick up the other two. These just hit shelves um, this week here in Canada, and 
I absolutely can't wait to get the rest of them. For such a small figure, it is one of the best. Um, very characteristic. The tail sticks down, so when you try and raise the body up on the floor, it kind of gets stuck in that position. It's got some tight joints, so you can pose it upwards, down, or facing all the way, and it stands very nicely. Its feet are rather more accurate size, not too big, not too small, and the arms have articulation fully on them. I just can't get over the colors. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. When I saw the, um, like, stock photos of this when it first got um, leaked to the internet, I thought it was absolutely amazing, and I feared that the, um, the actual release figure would be a little bit less detailed. But this, this really is something. Um, as much as I would love more detail in color on the face, it more than makes up for it on this back with these light blue. They very stand out. They stand out quite well, and it's still got color on the bottom as well. A little splotch right here, which doesn't continue up to the jaw. So yeah, let's get the scan code as well. So this dinosaur is not in Camp Cretaceous packaging, so we might not see it in the new film. Um, but we don't know what we're going to see in that, so there we go, I think, I think, there we go, yeah, so this is fantastic, let's set this up with the rest of the Spinosaurs, I believe this is now the smallest Spinosaur in the lineup, or shortest rather, so we've got Baryonyx, I just grabbed whatever I could out of my room, which is taller with the neck, we got Suchomimus, Can it stand horizontally? Let's see. Mmm, not the best. We'll just kind of prop it up like that. A little bit larger, and then Spinosaurus, obviously, being the biggest. There we go. So there is all the Spinosaurus that Mattel has produced. I think it is fantastic that they're producing more figures. You'd see this dinosaur a lot in some of the older Jurassic World video games. So now that it finally has a figure and it expands the Spinosaur family, that is absolutely great. Same with the Majungasaurus. I feel like the Albilosaurids in Jurassic World are definitely going to get a lot more figures in the near future. So that concludes my video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, definitely stay tuned for more unboxings. As you can see, there's some battle damage figures in the back that I have yet to um, do a review on. So yeah, keep a lookout for that one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.